Of all the people in Syracuse cheering Arsenal's win yesterday, a group of fans at Jay Ryan's pub in downtown may just have cheered the loudest. But they were not the only Premier League fans in the city or even downtown yesterday as interest in English soccer continues to grow. Breakfast and soccer are on the menu at Jay Ryan's pub in downtown Syracuse on weekend mornings. That's because the pub is home to the Syracuse Gooners, a supporters group of the English soccer club Arsenal. Doug Farfia started the group this past August. Our afternoon games, the ones that start 10 and later, we get 15, 20 people usually, sometimes a little bit more depending on the caliber of opposition. Uh, this morning, for example, we started at 8.30, so we have a few less. The group has even already started some unique traditions. I call it the uh, pillar of assists. Um, I'm a lifelong baseball player, and when a guy's pitching, they put the K's up around the stadium when he's getting like 10, 11 strikeouts, and I figured why not do something similar with Ozo. Those traditions help make the Gooners an officially recognized supporters group of the Premier League club a little faster than usual. We were supposed to go through a six-month probationary period, and uh, they let us uh, be an official chapter in four months because they saw we were doing really good things. Jay Ryan's Pub is not the only place in Syracuse to catch a Premier League game on the weekends. In fact, you don't have to walk very far at all to get to the other spot. It's right around the corner at Wolf's Beer Garden. Wolf's opened about three months ago. It is where local fans of teams other than Arsenal tend to meet. That means fans of red, and blue often watch games together. But this corner of downtown Syracuse is not the only place where interest in the English Premier League has grown. The Premier League's TV ratings in the U.S. are growing every year. Viewership is not as large as the four major North American sports, but its average viewer is younger than all four of those leagues. NBC Sports renewed its contract with the Premier League for nearly $1 billion in August, in large part because of that audience. While the ratings might not be there right now and the numbers might not be there now, they're making a prediction that in the future that's going to be there. If that prediction comes true, Premier League fans in the U.S. will have plenty of reason to cheer. The Gooners are Syracuse's largest supporters group for a Premier League club, but they aren't even the only one that meets at Jay Ryan's. Syracuse's American Outlaws chapter also meets there to watch U.S. men's and women's national team games. Jake and Nicole, back to you.